And now, the mighty Scotch Elm responds to Earth First's recent arborphilic video. I am here today on behalf of the trees to respond to the group Earth First. I would like to start by expressing our profound thanks for all your efforts to save us. I must say, we didn't even know we needed saving before you arrived. You see, we are conceived, we grow, we live for a while, and then we die. It's sort of the way you view the human life cycle, except we allow our young to make it a wee bit farther past the conception piece. And I have to say that we think it a bit strange that you're all so concerned with saving trees. We don't give a flying shite about you. Oh yes, oh yes, I can assure you, not only do not cry like little girls over you, we actually laugh hysterically when you get hurt. My personal favorite is the taser, but the pepper spray is quite enjoyable as well. Now, I don't mean to be rude, but I have to ask. What exactly is that smell that you exude? It would appear to be a mixture of stale bong water and rancid bison semen. I'll have you know that after you've been tasered into submission and the authorities have unchained you from our trunks, we literally beg the local grizzly population to defecate on us, just to get rid of your smell. It used to be that trees conjured up nice thoughts for people, the whisper of the wind through branches, or comfortable shade on a hot day. But now when people think of trees, it seems they are more inclined to think of a malodorous tie-dyed beatnik hurling feces at a policeman from a platform they erected in some poor tree they want to save from the power saw. And let me tell you something, laddie. After several weeks of listening to poetry from some scabby vagrant perched in your limbs, you're begging for that same power saw. Speaking of which, at what Cal Berkeley class do they teach that installing 250 pounds worth of scaffolding in a tree is a good way to save it. You'll have to excuse the lack of gratitude, but it's a bit hard for me to feel the love when it's driving three-inch nails into my bark. Good day. Many hippies were hurt during the filming of this video. On purpose. Really. And before you ask, no, we don't feel bad about it. At all. Actually, we're still laughing. I can't reach the trees. This hurts me.